welcome to today's Zazzle Chat. Uh, hopefully a lot of you have already noticed that we've even added even more great new things to the site. We've done yet another refresh of our great apparel line to bring even more stylish and fun new options. And we have added a few more experiences along with those as well. And if you have any questions about anything that you see here today, of course, send us questions on Twitter. We're at Zazzle and you can use the hashtag, hashtag Zazzle Chat. I am here today with Monica and Megan, who are our product experts, and we're going to be taking a look at our new apparel. So what's up first, ladies? Hi. So yeah, you might have noticed the shirt tool got re recently got a huge facelift. Um, I think first of all, you might have noticed we have a ton of new models, um, seven in all to be exact. And really represent, I think, a wider range for Zazzle, just in terms of the overall aesthetics that they bring to the table. If you noticed on um, the recently launched football jersey and spirit jersey, we also have video. So you can not only see the garment laying down, but you can also see them in action. So you can see how the garment lays. And that's something that a lot of the um, e-commerce sites have been adding. And we will add that to the shirt tool shortly. Um, I think it will be in the bottom for now, but eventually you'll be able to see your design while they walk around, which is really cool. Uh, All right, uh, what other kind of new things are we hoping to bring to the site in our experience with apparel? Um, you know, we've been focusing a lot on apparel this year, from launching new products to the new look and feel. Uh, we we recently launched Jack Prince, which was only a lay down, the all over print tank tops and shirts, which we have heard your feedback, and so we did shoot that on model. So that will be coming up on model soon, so you can see your designs on model. But in addition, um, you know, we continue to read your feedback from the forums. And so uh, in addition to getting a lot of these new models, we had an uh, expecting model this time as well. We're going to continue to add diversity in addition to older models so that we can round out our portfolio better. So thanks for all your feedback on the forums and just know that we continue to listen to that. Great. All right. So we have so many new apparel options now. Uh, what's our first sort of category of apparel that we have new? So one thing that when Megan was um, kind of looking at the category was uh, we don't have a lot of maternity. We had, um, you know, just the maternity shirts, which was sold out with a lot of colors. So we worked on adding um, a new maternity collection that not only includes the shirt, but we have a tank top and a long sleeve. And you know, they, they have the rouging on the side um, for the expecting mom, as well as a very flattering kind of v-neck scoop. Um, and so we're excited um, to have, be able to offer maternity on the side again. Yeah, I think it's been a long time coming and we've definitely heard the feedback and the hope to get this in stock. Um, and we worked with uh, uh, an apparel partner to actually custom make this for Zazzle. Um, with those spec specifications, so it's just not an oversized boxy shirt, but it's really a flattering kind of silhouette that um, can be worn multiple occasions. Great. And do you guys have any uh, suggestions for designing these shirts in particular? I think that we actually have a lot of great content already, which we're looking to preserve from the existing maternity style. So that content will get migrated over to these new styles and uh, maintained, but we are definitely looking for a little bit more of the um, kind of fun holiday designs on, on these pieces now that we're back in stock right in time for that new year. Um, and then just keep in mind that the design area will be a little bit bigger than it was on our prior maternity shirt. So get creative. I think that there's a lot of great puns out there and, and fun things to work with. Wonderful. All right. So we have our great options for the expecting mom. What's our next area of new apparel? So in the summer, we added a bunch of workout tank tops in the tank top refresh. And kind of to round out that, that collection, uh, we've added both long sleeve activewear and New Balance shirts um, for men and women. So we have them, and these are kind of the white and gray, but we also have them for the women in this bright neon pink, as well as a safety green shirt. So they're really fun colors. I think, um, you know, Workout shirts is one of those things that we've seen sales increase over. So fun sayings, people who are doing fun runs, people who, I mean, this this category is well. And now that we have like a name brand, I think it really helps um, bolster the category. So we're excited to round out the active wear, active wear collection. But in addition, we added uh, a compression shirt. 
um, for the men. This is a, we just have it in white right now, but I think this is a great undershirt. Uh, it's a very tight shirt. Uh, make sure you check the sizing for that. Yeah, but it's definitely designed to kind of keep you in. So for those gym rats, those weightlifters, or even kind of bicycle teams, cycling teams, this is a great piece to actually um, perform in and express yourself in as well. So uh, these are actual sort of sweat wicking material, et cetera. Do you have uh, any info on how these actually print on this different kind of material? Uh, they, I, I personally bought one just recently. Um, and I was, I got the bright pink and I just got a solid black, but it looked really good. But I, we've seen other colors as well. But I think if you're looking for just the basic um, white, it always sh shows the best. But uh, for the bright colors, just remember that we don't print white. Right, uh, so this is sort of akin to that light apparel process. It's sublimation, so that's why we only offer sort of lighter colors. But again, the print will be very, very vibrant, but on deeper colors like the pink or the gray, you're gonna get a little bit, bit of that tone coming through. Um, but for a cleaner design, maybe, maybe stick with the white. Um, and for more simple text designs, maybe go with the neons there. Yeah. But they, they look great. I mean, the color looks great. I think it's hard to see the vibrancy over online or um, so we're trying to um, do a couple things so that you can see that better. But in the meantime, yeah, we're excited to get fit this winter. <laughs> Wonderful. So we have everything for the exercise enthusiast. How about what we have for the trendy? Is oh, that so sporty. The sporty, um, customer. the sporty customer. So in addition to those who work out, we have those who like to watch people work out. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, um, we recently launched these football shirts and they're really, um, if, you've seen, if you think you've seen this design before, you have, we actually have matching little onesies that we launched <laughs> earlier in the year. So this is a really cute like set for mom and dad, or mom and baby. Um, and I think it's like matching moms. Um, so we're really excited about this. And these are really great in the fact that they have like this vintage Heather look. Um, all the colors are just very, very classic and very retro. And so they all look good. Um, and they have two lines down the sleeve to match the baby again. Yeah. We have all the matching colors to match the mom. So I hope you're all thinking collections right now. <laughs> In addition, we uh, got have heard your feedback. Football jersey, football season is right now, mm -hmm. and so we launched uh, football jerseys. So this is the females, and the, this is the male, and they're actually like a real jersey. Yes. Um, make sure you so wear one a layer. Yeah. Wear something underneath, or, or not, I guess it's whatever you like. Yeah, you'll notice the models actually do have a white tank top underneath, and that's why you're kind of seeing that tone right where that's tucked into their jeans. Uh, but it is pretty uh, see-through because it is that kind of authentic mesh. Mm -hmm. So these are the styles that you'll be able to see on the product page, our great little videos of the models in action, actually, mm -hmm. showing you what it looks like in person. And with this, you'll notice that we actually have a different design tool area on this. Mm -hmm. So in addition to the front and back that we always have, we have kind of the yoke of the shirt. So that's fun. I think it really fits with the theme of this um, jersey. Right. And just a sneak peek, so sleeve printing will come um, soon on these because I know that'll be a really popular design area. Um, and so we'll be able to kind of unlock that soon for you guys. Great. So make sure you root for your favorite <laughs> team. <laughs> With your own name, <laughs> but don't break any copyright rules. Okay. <laughs> no actual uh, player names or numbers. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so we've got all of the sportiness yeah. covered. What's up next? Um, I think we've also, in addition to adding kind of like the basics and the activewear, we've recently looked at like kind of the competitive landscape with trendy. So. We've launched uh, some things that you would see in some of the more fashion forward stores. For example, this is an American apparel t-shirt dress. Um, and it's a little longer as you can see, but there's a great design area. And I think it just kind of breaks us away from just shirts and t-shirts. Now we have dresses. Um, so we have these in really fun colors. This is a Heather 
um, turquoise and a peach. Yeah, heather peach, and then we have you know the traditional white, and then the solid black and navy yeah. colors as well. So depending on you know your designs, I think these you think about the consumer, but it's like a younger crowd, more fashion forward, and so that's exciting to kind of get that fashionista crowd excited about customizing their own clothes. In addition, we have a hoodie dress. Um, the hoodie dress is, again, a dress, <laughs> but in a hoodie form. But just know that this is one size only. So the one size only is fits more like a medium. Um, so make, take that into account when you design as well. Great piece for the holiday season, especially layering it with leggings and um, even a jean jacket above. Both of these actually would be great layering pieces. Um, to kind of round out the trendy set, we have um, boxy uh, crop tops, which we're seeing in a lot of the stores these days that are selling really well. So it's like just a little trendier. We have them in some fun colors. And then we also have the flowy off shoulder long sleeve. And to be honest, uh, you know, we launched a pair what, two weeks ago, and this is probably the one that's been selling the best. Mm -hmm. One of the best, this flowy off shoulder. Um, please note that there is this line down the back, and you'll see that when you are on the design tool as well, but that's why there's a limited design area on the back. But it's really nice for kind of a fitted hem at the bottom and dolman sleeves. This can be worn off the shoulder or just a slightly scooped neck as well, so it's very, a really fun piece. Very feminine and, and flirty, so, so rounding out our trendy pieces. Um, in addition to uh, adding all these, we wanted to continue to work on our classics. Mm -hmm. So we added an American Apparel um, crew neck raglan sweatshirt. And the sweatshirt is unisex, but uh, we have shot them on male and female models. But one of the things that I like about it is like we finally have a bright, vibrant red mm -hmm. that's really fun for the holidays. I think this it really pops, I think hopefully on camera and on screen. Mm -hmm. And then we have them in like really fun classic colors. So the gray, the navy, and the camel. So this is the first time that we'll actually have a crew sweatshirt for women on our site, which I think is a big win. Yeah. Um, so keep in mind that this is a little bit more elevated than the traditional kind of Hanes sweatshirt nice kind of fitted shoulder. So great piece for the holiday. Wonderful, all right. And then lastly, we added some really, really, really fun prints that I think are um, definitely occasion pieces. So we have tie dye now. Mm -hmm. So we have it in the rainbow and the pastel. And I think these are great for concert goers, for like family reunions, for like team shirts. And so we wanted to add this different silhouette so that you can really customize anything. Um, in addition, we have them in kind of the more muted colors, if they are muted, <laughs> compared to these, I guess. So men and women's. And then in addition, we launched camo. So camo is really cool. Um, we have um, not just men's, but women's as well in different colors. So. so these are all going through the dark apparel process, and don't be kind of shy about the, the depth of this color because they actually print really, really well. Um, you'll see like the whites really pop on top of the design area. So. Great. Okay, mm -hmm. so your white designs will print. Okay, so you yeah. know that anything will show through on these designs. Exactly. Great. Oh yeah, so unlike the sublimation, they have a print of white base first and then they print on top of it. So it makes your designs pop. Great. One thing I forgot to mention, I'm actually wearing the spirit jersey. And the spirit jersey is um, in a different tool as well, but it's because of a different design area. So in addition to the bat, these, these are the fun spirit jerseys. Um, we have them in really fun color, the pom-pom jerseys. Um, the back design area and the front design area is very different from everything else, which is why we took it out the shirt tool. Um, but we think um, internally that um, this is gonna be one of the bigger sales of the winter, not only because it's trendy, but it's really comfortable. Um, it's a layering piece as well as an on top piece. Um, so really, I think relevant for the college girl um, or even kind of tourist season. So you might see this if you're actually traveling to an island, you'll see this probably in one of the, the stores down there representing um, the, the specific location. So designs that work well, I think are 
mostly text-based. So, you know, think about a nice pocket design, whether or not it's a monogram or um, some other initials of, of a location. And then the back, you know, big kind of sweeping text for um, just kind of spirit and expression there. So what are the design areas on this one? So they're roughly kind of a six by eight design on the front half and the back half. So right above where the seam hits. Um, and that's kind of why it's in its own design tool. I think it warrants a different type of design and definitely has a different location for that area as well. Great, so for our football jerseys and the spirit jerseys, that's something that our designers are going to want to actually design specifically on these, um, whereas the rest of our options are available within our original shirt tool. Correct. Exactly, Great. exactly. Awesome, all right. So we have all of these awesome new tops, but what else do we have apparel-wise? So apparel-wise, we launched, as you guys might have re recall, we launched shoes a couple weeks ago, and we've gotten feedback that you guys want to see what it looks like in person. So obviously there's three types. There's the high tops, um, the low tops, and then the slip-ons. So um, these are really fun because they do zip on and zip off. Unfortunately, we are not selling them um, with the zip-ons just yet, but that is in the works. Um, but know that you can, you buy multiples, you can switch them off. But I think the, the slip-ons are great. Um, one of the things people have written on the forums is arch support. And I know that's important for me because, uh, you know, standing all, around all day, um, my feet get sore. These actually, for, um, kind of slip-ons, they actually have all this, have the same arch support and all, but they have a really comfy footbed, and so it's very comfortable. There's extra arch support in there. So in addition to being a great looking shoe, it's a comfortable shoe as well. So the, the slip-ons are the cheapest. Um, please note that the design area on the back it is not a mistake, it really is, uh, because of printing limitations, it's a small space. Uh, same with these? The no, we actually, you can print, you can print these. Mm -hmm. um, and you can print the, uh, you can print uh, the, f the tongue? The tongue as well, but it's additional charge. So depending on your budget. Uh, and then the high tops. So these um, are kind of a classic style. I think they'll, they look great. Um, Zips is a company that prints out of Orange County, California. Um, so we're excited to bring shoes to the site and um, we're continually bringing fun and exciting products. So we're excited you guys like them. Awesome, so uh, when we're designing these three different shoes, is this something that a customer can change the style of shoe? Uh, no, they're actually all, they're. I mean, from a back end, it's very complicated to print on shoes. I took our engineering a couple months to figure this out. Um, and so as a result, they're all in three different style tools. So you can't style switch and you could just design on your own shoe. And also take note when you're designing on different sizes as well. I, uh, might be easiest to do patterns and start with the largest size and so that you make sure that you account for the different safeties and bleeds for the different areas when you go into the art view. Yep, so make sure you have a really nice full bleed patterns, things like that. Um, but as you can see, each of these different shoes is a very different shape, so we're going to have very different design areas, uh, which is why you're going to want to design each one individually. Overall, for all of our great new apparel stuff, what kind of design tips do we have? So one thing to note with the new styles uh, is that they'll have a larger design area and just from a technical standpoint, if you recall for the Zazzle shirt tool, there is a design horizontal, design vertical, and a pocket area. We're moving to a world where those three will kind of be pared down to two. So the front of your design area will just be called design front and the pocket will still exist. Um, but the reason for that change is just to enable a, the biggest print area that we can um, in our manufacturing process. Uh, so that's kind of exciting just to kind of expand that, that canvas for you guys. Awesome, and what kind of design content are we hoping for on our apparel? I think um, we are obviously have a great, a lot of great designs. I think one of the reasons that we publish in the shirt tool is not because we want you guys to publish your same design on every single shirt tool. I think that kind of just clutters up the marketplace. 
Um, but really think about the garment that you're designing. So if you're doing something active wear, something that talks about, you know, gym life or gym rat, you probably want to publish on, you know, the active wear. I would not, probably not publish it on, you know, maybe the more trendy stuff. Um, just think about the end consumer and what they'll be buying. And I think that will be your best bet. Great. And also think about what you see people actually wearing and the kind of designs that you see on apparel. Normally you're going to see something like a standalone image or some nice typography. You're not necessarily going to see something that's a full square design that you might see on a poster. So um, really think about the designs that you have available to you and recognize that something that you have that works really great on something like a poster or a card uh, may not necessarily translate to apparel. So really think about the product that you're publishing on. Yeah, I mean, do some research. Look at you know what's trending on the streets, um, on other sites, in the stores, when you're at the mall. I think those things really help you um, solidify who your end consumer is and what he or she would wear. So we actually have one other fun experience on the site besides our new photography and models and everything. Uh, if you were thinking about collections with our awesome uh, new shirts and matching baby onesies, Hopefully you have noticed that on many of our product pages, we now are showing collections right there on a single product page. So if you're taking a look at something like an invitation, you might be able to see on that same product page a collection of all of the matching products that go with that invitation. So we're really excited about this. We know that a lot of you have really been uh, making these beautiful collections. We want to show them off. So we have a few tips for maybe seeing your own collection on these product pages. If you'll notice on there, we have about six products for each collection. So your collection does have to have at least six so that we can display them there on the product page. You want to make sure that your collection really makes sense, that there's a theme, theme going on there, either the same product, the same design, uh, you know, matching products. Really think about a customer being on one of those product pages. What do they want to see that's something that they might want to buy in conjunction with the current product that they're taking a look at? So think about that when you're creating your collections. Um, it's also a good idea to make a really attractive collection. So including something like your header image and the description. Um, we can only show about three collections on each product page. So we can't guarantee that your collection is going to show up there, but those are some tips just to create a beautiful collection that is much more likely to show up there. And you'll find that information on our blog as well. One other quick thing you may have also seen on our product pages is our user-generated content, which are photos of actual Zazzle products in the real world from our customers and our designers, and we're so excited to be able to showcase this, that it's not only on our product pages now, we actually have our own landing page for that, which is zazzle.com slash inspiration, where you can find all of that great content. I think it's really nice not just to see it like with a white background, but it's so nice to be able to see these photos in real life. And we just have so many designs. Um, I found a doormat the other day on Instagram and we were able to get that doormat on all, and it's a great way for designers to get their designs on. If you have a great design, um, I saw this great picture and we were able to put it as an inspiration image on all doormat pages so now whenever anyone goes to a doormat page and they click through they'll see this design and we link it back to your design so you can shop this snap mm -hmm. um, so if, if you a great way to get publicity for your stores to order the products and take great photos um, we want the photos to look inspirational and hopefully uh, you know it's something that they'll want to buy so we do have some prerogative um, on which photos we choose, but if they're great photos, we'll probably put them on the site. Yeah, so take a look at that inspiration page to see what we're really looking for. And if you have samples of your own products, take a really great photo, tag us in it, hashtag Zazzle, we will take a look and you might be able to see your own product on all of those product pages. Great, so let's see if we have any questions from Twitter. For our spirit jerseys, would we say that those are oversized? Yes. Um, I don't usually wear a small, but this is the small, and I usually wear a large, so this is definitely an oversized jersey. Um, I think oversized is more of a look as well. It's kind of 
they wear it to cover the butt and wear it with leggings. It's supposed to be a comfortable shirt, so it's oversized. Make sure you check out the um, sizing information on each product page. Great. And that's another one where we actually have the video of the model wearing it. Um, and this particular video has a little bit of that wind look, so you'll get to see the flow of the garment and that the fact that it is fairly oversized on her. Great. Are there any other garments that have a little bit different sizing like that? Um, the football jerseys for females are actually junior um, jerseys. So again, when you're buying, make sure you check out. We included what the model is wearing, their stats, what they're wearing, uh, but also on the top right, we have a size chart that kind of talks about the garment size as well as kind of recommended, um, you know, recommended sizes for you. I think we do know if it's like smaller, we recommend sizing up. Um, and keep in mind if we've notated that things are unisex. So something might say women's raglan sweatshirt, but keep in mind that in the copy, it's gonna actually say that that's a unisex garment and to treat that appropriately, which often means it's men's sizing. So women might want to size down in that one specifically. Okay, do any of our new apparel items require special care when washing? I think most of the time for our garments, the way that we manufacture them, it's always best to kind of make them, uh, turn them inside out before you wash them. Um, and I think that'll just work fairly well. And then sometimes you might see like a slight residue from a pretreatment area, which is just part of the manufacturing process. But again, if you wash that upon receiving it, that should disappear um, after the first wash. Um, other than that, just please check out the care label and um, respond accordingly. Also on the vein of washing, do any of these styles um, shrink in the wash or are they pre-shrunk? Again, that'll be on the, the tag and, and oftentimes we've noted it in the copy as well. So there's so many different styles and a lot of different manufacturers create them differently. So mm -hmm. I don't want to say one blanket statement, but just make sure, again, read the copy and the, and the tag label for the best care possible. Great. And we do have the full list of all of these that we went over today in our forums. Uh, so you'll see that in a post in our news forum that's called Meet Our New Apparel. So you can take a look at all of those right there. There's a list of links. So if you do want to go through and just check out the information for each of those, you can find that pretty easily right there on the forums. So the content limitations for our football jerseys and shirts. Um, we know you can't use a team logo because those are trademarked and copyrighted. Uh, but can we use something like a favorite player's last name and number? The answer to that is no. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in doubt, don't do it. <laughs> but essentially something like that with a player's last name and number, that is something that is the property of both that person and the team. So um, we're really hoping for completely original content as always. Um, you know, feel free to, to really get creative. You know, you can find official stuff anywhere. What we provide is something that's totally unique, totally custom, and we know that you guys can come up with something that's amazing. Yeah, we often see like uh, team bride, team groom, even mm -hmm. just bride and groom uh, designing their own shirts for their, their special day. And then if you have, you know, a team, a rec team that you play in outside of work or outside of school, you know, that's all kind of fair game. Mm -hmm. So if you're, you know, the Menlo Park Hurricanes or something like that, mm -hmm. you can probably work that in. Oh, here's a good question that we do already have an answer for. If you don't have Instagram, how can you show us your great product photos? Pretty easy. You can just send us an email. You can email us at social at zazzle.com to get in touch with our social media team and feel free to uh, send us those images, things like that. Um, right now, we only can support images from Instagram, but we're going to be uh, looking at other ways to showcase those images. So we'd still love to see what you have. And if you could include when you do, if you do send an email, if you could include the link or the PID, that would be great so that we can easily um, find you and tag you. Yep. So um, as we said on each of those, we supply a link that says shop this snap. So if someone does see your amazing photo and say, I want that exact awesome doormat, they can click right there and go directly to your product page. How about our shoe sizes? Do we know if those fit true to size or if we need to size up or down for these shoes? Um, they do fit true to size. I think for most shoes, I think you usually know your feet, but um, these are flat footed or, you know, flat shoes. So there's a little more um, give. Um, so I would say if you know your sizing for sneakers, just follow that. 
Okay. And are there different sizes for men and women, or do we show those all at the same time? Um, there are different, uh, it's a really one size, but um, usually for women you size two down from men, and that's all listed in the drop down. Great. All right, I think that's all we have time for today. But as always, if you do have more questions for us, please feel free to submit those on the forums or send us an email. We'd be glad to chat with you. And thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you.